Welcome back, friends, to the zombie apocalypse. I'm Juniver, and this zombie is bringing me something that I desperately need. It's a gladius. All right, so this is only just a couple of minutes after we left off. I was planning on uh, driving back home nice and nice and safely, nice and smoothly, but uh, well, the game had other plans. I didn't feel comfortable starting my car, and so the end result is that I ended up jumping out of the car. And it's ironic because I ended up getting the car started, but I couldn't actually tell over the sound of the uh, of the rain here. So we're all good, but this is a uh, bit of a disjointed start here. I didn't really intend for this to work out quite like this. Uh-oh. Or like this. This guy's got an axe for me. Oh, boy. Just in time for me to break this axe, I'm sure. So, yeah. This, uh... Things haven't been going very smoothly in this episode, have they? And it's only just started, so I'm not quite sure where we're going from here. We're hungry. We're carrying too much. We have to take this guy's watch, because that's the rules. Oh. And I think we have to take this lady's watch also. Yes, we do. Alright, so... This has been fun. I'd like the zombies to stop following me now. Because I'm tired. I'd like to go to bed. And they're all over here by my house now. We're getting anxious, we need to eat. This is not really where I want to be fighting the zombies. I want the zombies to be far away from my house. And yet, here they are. Bothering me. Alright, we have to keep take care of some of these moodles here. Alright, uh, this one first. I'm just gonna eat this chocolate. Sounds good to me. Whole chocolate bar. Yum, 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 yum. And then we need to take care of this one. And then we need to gain some endurance back, because if we try to go to bed right now, I don't think the zombies are gonna let us. They're gonna they're gonna follow us. I didn't mean to get out of the car there. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a little while. And we're gonna regain some endurance and then we're gonna go fight them off. Or maybe we're good. Might be good. Might just be good. They're not coming. They're not coming. Alright. Bedtime. Well, okay. Not bedtime. It's only 6.50. But we're done for the day. We're gonna get tired pretty quick. We've been burning a lot of endurance. So... Inside we shall go. We have a new book to read. We have to read the Carpentry level 5 and 6 book. I left this door open apparently. That's good. Alright. Where's my books? Where, where, where are the books? Not in there. Shouldn't be in here. Oh, we can put away our new, uh, our new prize. Alright, so we do have two daggers. That's good. That's very good. Is 
thread goes away. All right, so uh, I have to go get the book. I'll go get the book. Nope, 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 nope. Aha! Advanced carpentry. There we go. Excuse me. This is a uh, living people only area. What are you guys doing here? I have a book to read. You are disrupting me from my uh, very interesting carpentry book. Alright, well, I'm sure nobody else is here in the mall. Alright, let's take a seat and read our book. There's no real reason to sit in the game. Character is never going to get bored of sitting. I mean, if you're sitting, you gain endurance faster. This uh, white bar down here. But, you know, there's no real reason other than that to sit down. It just puts you at a disadvantage. Coincidentally, though, I don't think a lot of people know this. If you are sitting and there's a zombie coming, you need to stand up quickly. Um, if you hold shift while you start to move, like here, I'll show you. This is moving normally. You know, you just, oh, you can't even see me. There we go. So, normal moving speed for getting up looks like this. Um, but you can actually hold shift when you're doing it, and it'll go faster. You know, so if you need to run away, hold shift, and you'll char your character will get up faster. All right, well, it's, uh, turn out the light here. It's bedtime. That, uh, that... Constant loading bar that they added recently to the game is a little bit annoying, I gotta say, because it pops up all the time. I totally understand why they added it. I was reading that they added the, the loading bar there to make it clear when your character is in an animation, so that, like, if you're getting into a car, until that loading bar stops, you're still getting into the car and you're still vulnerable. So, if you're gonna get bitten while you're getting into a car, it could definitely happen in that moment. All right, moment of truth. Do we have zombies outside our door? What do you guys think? Are there zombies outside? Fortunately, no. Well, that's good. I don't have a big problem with leaving the, the big garage doors open. All right. Well... These guys down here are way too close for comfort. Way too close. Not a big fan. I don't want them close to my house. They're close to my house and I, uh, you know, I, I pull them in or if I come back from an adventure and I'm too tired to deal with them, it would just be a bad time. So we're gonna take these guys Take them out, get rid of them, you know? The normal thing. Anybody have anything we need? A newspaper. Watches. Is it gonna be foggy today? We only got 53 pages into our book. Where's my watch? Set alarm. We will do a 650 alarm. We'll do some experiments. We'll see how this goes. We have no reason, like, our character is probably never even going to sleep to 650 ever, so. The alarm is really more for reminding me to check the weather when I think there might be a helicopter. Although, that being said, it is a good idea to check the weather regardless, because that way you know if it's going to be super foggy. But, you know, I don't always make good decisions. Right. Anybody else? Yes. Wow, I don't know where all of these zombies came from. They're way too close. And, like, they're in, like, groups, too. Like, they've been here all along or something. I mean, I do know that when you close the game and reload it, the game redistributes the zombies. I'm not 100% sure how that feature or how that functionality works, but it is true that... It'll redistribute the zombies. It's, the game doesn't always take the location of every single zombie into account when you're hitting save. And, oops. Am I supposed to take this with me? Thank you. 
Um, it doesn't always take that into... Uh, it doesn't save the positions of all the zombies. And so sometimes, especially like if you get a crash, if you're in the middle of a horde and your game crashes and you load the game back up, the odds are actually pretty high that all the zombies that are in your, um, your like cone of, not your cone of vision, in, in the amount of world that's loaded around you, which is... I would say probably about this big, all the way into the mall maybe. I don't know for sure, but it's pretty big. All those zombies would get unloaded in a crash, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes not. All right, let's listen to our walkie-talkie. What do you have to tell us today, my friend? Did it just turn my radio off? Okay, no, it didn't. Good. All right. Automated broadcast system. Power grid's in blackout. It's going to be 65 today. That sounds nice. I wish it was 65 here right now. Some clouds, light fog. I can live with light fog. Weather predicted to start in the evening. Showers or heavy rain. Okay. A little bit colder tomorrow. Clear skies with some clouds. Alright, the rainstorm will end in the morning. Nice. Anything else to tell me? It's too soon after our last helicopter, so there's not going to be a helicopter, but... You know, it's good to be in the habit of check. Actually, I put it away before it would have told me anyway, because I equipped my, my axe here. So we'll never know. That's not true, though. If we are going to have a helicopter day, which, like I said, I don't think is possible. If we are going to have a helicopter day, we won't know. And that'll be fun. Uh, lots of these guys have watches. They know that I need watches. Once I level up... Uh... Well, that's cool. Once I level up electrical and mechanics a little bit more... I'll be able to hotwire cars. I don't remember what it is. I think it's two electrical, one mechanics, or one mechanics, or, or two mechanics, one electrical. I don't know. Something like that. Because there's an awful lot of vehicles in this parking lot. It would be nice to, you know, comb our way through them. Is this the horde that we escaped from last night? It sure is. They've spread out a little bit. You guys are all going to get taken care of. Here we go. Alright, what are we going to do today? The smart, the smart decision would be to keep cleaning out the... Uh, parking lot here, but honestly, the parking lot is looking kind of empty now. It didn't take as long to clear it out as I thought it might. Although, maybe we'll do a little bit of a loop and find out. But, I think maybe we go back down to the gas station. Oh, there's our, our axe. Our axe broke. That makes me sad. We've had that axe for a long time. But, you know, use it or lose it. We used it, and then we lost it, but at least we, we used it. Ooh, a new nightstick. I have to keep in mind now that I'm using the crowbar again. It's going to take more hits to get to the inside of the uh, lollipop here. Axe does a lot more damage. Well-made crowbar of the mammoth. That's a nice name. I like that. A watch. Cheerleader's uniform. Alright. Anybody else? Let's do a walk. Not seeing anybody. This this makes me happy. 
Of course, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk, fast walk directly into a pile of zombies, and there's gonna be a fake dead zombie in it, and it's gonna scare the pants off me, and that'll be just, that'll be just great. Okay, so there are some more up here. I don't know where all these came from, but... Oh well, I'm sure it's really just a result of the, the zombie pressure. There's so many zombies in the game, in this area, that they'll push out, basically, over time. Although I didn't expect them to push out this far, you know? Since this area, this little courtyard in the back of the mall has been clear for so long. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at some stats while we're at it. We're, we crossed 4,000 zombie kills so far, that's pretty nice. I don't think we got any kills with our car yesterday when we were on our little sightseeing journey. But I could be wrong. Crawlers are annoying to deal with. Not, not my cup of tea. Alright, anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Alright, no more zombies. We did it. All the zombies are gone. How do I know, you ask? Well, I, I've decided. I've decided that they're all gone. Alright, we're gonna work our way down to the gas station. Uh, that was a bad swing. These guys don't see me yet. Ooh, the head turn. They added that head turn animation. Uh, some point during Build 41, I believe, when they were developing Build 41. And it's it's good. It's effective. It's pretty creepy. You know, they're over there doing their zombie thing, just chilling. And all of a sudden they sense you. And it really kind of is a testament to the way this game works. They don't all of a sudden sprint over in your direction the second that they detect you. They turn their head slowly. They slowly make their way to you. It's not... It's not the sprinters that'll kill you, unless you're playing sprinters, of course, because there aren't any sprinters in the normal game. It's the quantity that'll kill you, the horde. Taking on more zombies than you can handle, that's a good way to die. It's such a unique game experience. It's one of the reasons why I like this game so much, is that it's very slow. It's methodical. You have to be paying close attention to what you're doing, you have to be conscious of your surroundings. You have to make sure you're going slow and you're not going to get bitten while you're whacking a zombie like I almost did there. So. It's a good challenge. I like this type of challenge where it's it's slow. There's a lot to pay attention to. There's a lot to worry about. It's not an action sort of arcade game. Not that those can't be fun, but... It's what really makes this game stick out, I think, in a uh, in a game in the game genre, zombies game genre. All right, uh, half a bag or half a bag, half a box of cereal. That sounds great. I want to get back up to eighty. Um, I'll stop. Ooh, we got two up arrows now. It means we're really gaining weight. All right, I'll slow down a little bit, but I want to get us back up to like eighty or so. I think that'll be a good a good quantity. I'm not actually sure what the units are. It might be kilos. Um, I don't think it's pounds, because I don't think 80 pounds is a healthy weight for any human. Could be kilos. Could be something else. It is made, the game is made by, um, I believe the developers are British. So it would make sense to be kilos. Let's see, though. If any of you know if it's a uh, actual unit or... If the weight unit is just arbitrary and it's a number, uh, let me know. Definitely interested to see. Not that familiar with uh, with kilograms and the like. I know how much a pound weighs. Don't really know how much a kilogram weighs. I mean, it weighs a kilogram, but... Anyway, moving on. Moving on from this conversation because it makes me look uncultured. Can't have that getting around. And 
these these zombies aren't gonna tell anybody and I don't really know that much about the metric system though I do use the metric system at work we uh in engineering in the engineering world we use uh some metric and some imperial units have I been in in this gas station before oh this is what happens when I don't play this this game for a long time I forgot that we have the barricaded world mod wow all right I look uh, a little bit silly I'm sure I forgot that I installed the barricaded world mod so I was all excited yesterday about the uh, defended building and well I uh, should not have been excited because that's actually not how it works I have a mod that's adding in all the barricades everywhere. You know what? We're going to start playing around with the Gladius that we found right at the beginning of this episode. It's a fun little little weapon. I believe it's sh short blade, not long blade. Right. Gladius. Uh. Yeah, let's replace our... Oh, I can put it in my webbing slots? That's nice. Oh, right, I have the, uh... Military flashlight there. Can go in my right webbing slot. Alright. Eight is hard to reach, though, on the keyboard. That's... It's a long reach. Right. So now I'm much less excited about the gas station. Because I've made the realization that I installed the Barricade World mod. And it makes perfect sense now why all the buildings are barricaded. Gee, I wonder why. Also, I've definitely noticed that we are uh, exerted. That's why we're doing so little damage. But I'm not really in a good position to stop and take care of that, am I? So one thing I do feel obliged to mention, since I'm using this uh, modded uh, short blade right now, is that the best short blade in the game in vanilla, which is the hunting knife, has a significantly shorter reach than this modded short blade. So if you're watching me and you're like, oh, this seems easy, and then you get load up a load up a vanilla game and um, you get yourself a hunting knife, knife and you start whacking zombies with your hunting knife and it's a lot harder for you, that's because it is a lot harder for you. <laughs> the, uh, the Gladius and the Dagger from the Antique Armory mod have a much longer reach than the base game uh, hunting knife. So if you're uh, not having a lot of success with short blade and vanilla, that's totally understandable don't feel bad about it it is hard you have to be really close to the zombies the closer you are to the zombies the higher the risk is so if you want to just install some mods you know there's no nothing to feel bad about um for changing the gameplay the way you want but if you are playing in vanilla the hunting knives do not have a very long reach so be warned be warned All right, we're not going to do too much more here today. We'll poke our head in here. Eh. Choco cakes. Yes. Well, Teresa Day feels good about that. We ate some choco cakes. What am I doing? Cigarettes. All right. Well, this day had a little bit of a chaotic start and it's only 2.20 p.m. How tired are we? We're not too bad, we could keep going, especially if I use the Gladius. Uh, yeah, I'm anxious to make more progress, but I wanna make it not here. I wanna make it back up on that road. Um, although these groups of zombies, they're just tempting me. They're tempting me, they say, 
Hey. Hey, hey Juniper. Hey, look. Look. There's a whole bunch of us over here. Don't you want to take, take care of us now? I have to be like, no. I should be clearing a different area. You guys are so far away from my home that it doesn't matter. But here I am. Where did I park the car? Alright, let me get out my key fob. I need to, uh... Where's the, uh... Where's the alarm button so I can find my car? I've lost it in the mall parking lot. I think we parked it up here. Or did we leave it at home? Alright, we did leave it at home. Okay. I found it. I found the car. Everybody calm down. Okie doke. We are getting close to our destination. Which is just, you know, this side of the mall over here. As you can tell, we have a little bit of an infestation in this area. And because our base is so enormous, that's an awful lot of, uh, it's an awful lot of ground to cover. A lot of land to secure. So we gotta get busy here. Ooh, our Gladius leveled up too. That's nice. Hey, a cheese head. Who let you out of Wisconsin? I don't think I have one of these yet. Definitely taking that. Although, now that I say that, I probably do have one, just because I collected so much random clothes when we were clearing out the mall. That sounds like me. What do you got stuck in your back, my friend? A fork? This poor guy. Somebody... Somebody stabbed him in the back with a fork. I mean, I guess... I mean, the lore there is that... He was turning into a zombie, and... Whoever was with him at the time... They were probably eating dinner. Or lunch, or something. And, uh... Well, it started turning into a zombie right then and there. And... Well... Whoever he was with at the time was like, oh my god, and then he goes to eat them, and they're like, no, don't eat me! Don't you recognize me? And he's like, no, I am only interested in brains now. And so, the person in this case picks up their fork, and they stab him in the back, and then they get bitten and turn into a zombie anyway. Nothing but, nothing but nice, wholesome stories here in the zombie apocalypse. Whole bunch of zombies up there. Maybe the rest of this job is a job for another day. We'll clear the last six or so that are here. And I guess we'll have to come back tomorrow. I was kind of interested in doing some more different stuff. You know, I've done an awful lot of killing zombies here. Time to build something, I feel like. I mean, we built our couple of walls. And we built our, we got our bed, but I want to build a second story. How, what, what level do I need for, uh, stairs? Six. All right, well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Grinding out carpentry is probably even more boring than watching me kill a bazillion zombies, so it'll take a little while. The reason I want the stairs is because I want to, uh, I want to get a sink going. And actually, I'm not, I'm not confident that we can really get a sink going in our base. That's one of the main disadvantages to the corner of the mall that we're living in. Is that you, it, because it's the bottom right corner, you can't really put any furniture in it. Because it's an isometric game and you only ever see it from this perspective, 
there's uh there's certain limits that they place like you can't place certain things in certain orientations just because it wouldn't make any sense to do that because you only ever see things from this way so anyway long story short i'd like to install a sink for an infinite water source which involves stairs because there's no way for me unless i put it somewhere else in the mall there's no way for me to get infinite water going so i would have to build stairs like here where this air conditioning unit is i'd have to build a set of stairs up here and then put a uh a water bucket up here on the on the second level and then i should be able to put a sink like here on the inside and plumb the sink but I'm not 100% confident that that will work. So that's the plan. I'd like to do that eventually, but we have to hit level six carpentry before we can do that. Before we can hit level six carpentry, I have to read the book. So that's what we're gonna do with the rest of our day here. All right. Teresa, you're just gonna chill and read your book. Meanwhile, I'm gonna say goodbye to these fine people. All right, well, Thanks, friends, for joining me today. I'm Juniver. Hope you had a good time. See you again soon. Bye-bye.